Hey guys, what's going on? Brendan Miller here, back with a video. Today I want to answer the most asked question on my channel, and that is, of course, what is in my tackle box. I did one of these last year, but my tackle has grown quite a bit since then, so let's get into it, and I'll show you what I got. I want the 10 missile boost can. All right, guys, we are going to start off here with my plastics. I have most of my plastics in this Okeechobee Flats box. Uh, we're going to go over them real quick. Okay, here we go. We got some TRDs by Z-Man. Right there they are. Uh, little finesse worms work really well for finesse fishing. Also got some pack across right here. Watermelon red, really great baits. Got some tubes. Yum Viber King tubes. Then just some standard yum tubes right there. Over here we got some gambler craws right here, a little craws, kind of like a speed craw, a zoom speed craw. Good little baits right there. And we have probably what is my favorite bait right now, uh, the Strike King uh, Twin Tail Menace Scrub right here. These baits are fantastic. Put them on the back of swim jigs or I just flip them, pitch them. I got some in uh, just kind of a blue flake right there and then I've got a bunch in the green, red, awesome baits, highly recommend them. Got some swim baits here, got some swim baits, I uh, just got these out of my Mystery Tackle Box Pro, if you guys watch that, you got, you'll see there, got some uh, Ripple Shads right here from Berkeley, and of course we got some Skinny Dippers right there, and I think I have like one more, this is like my last Trigger X Slop Hopper, I think Trigger X went out of business, and this is like the last one I have, so I'll have to save that. So that's all the plastics in my box, I got a couple more bags in my bag right in here. I got some more plastics in here. Just gonna go over these real, real quick. Got some yum uh, Mighty Worms in Crawdad right there. Uh, got a bag full of random stuff, but yes, I do have some banjo minnows in there and uh, some bigger swim baits. Got some Mega Bass Craws right there. Um, got some more yum worms, let's see. We got some Evolve baits right here. This is the Compact Craw right there. Cool little bait. We've also got some Sidewinders. Uh, kind of a cool little single style bait. A lot of ribs. Really nice. Uh, got some of these little Yum Craws. These are really, really good uh, for bass and smallmouth. Uh, put them on the back of a jig head. Really, really effective. Got some of those. And I've also, of course, got the Power Bait Ribbon Tail Worm. Do not go anywhere without these in my tackle bag. And got some Gambler, uh, what are these, Shaky Shad, really great little baits. I'm going to take one out and show you guys. These baits have been dynamite on a drop shot. The Shaky Shad right there, check them out, they're really awesome little finesse baits. Got some real oil for my reel because it makes noises and I need to keep it oiled. And look what else I got, I got a scale for a weighing fish. I thought I was pretty good at guessing fish's weights, but then the people in the YouTube comments have kind of destroyed my confidence, so I got a scale so that we get accurate weights and I'm not just guessing. Okay, on to crankbaits. As you guys know, I love throwing crankbaits, so we're going to go through my crankbait selection real quick. First off, we got some lipless crankbaits, got a couple red-eye shads, got this one by, uh, I think this is, there we go, Hardcore X, a uh, cool little lipless crankbait, it's got no rattles, silent, kind of a bluegill color, really nice. Uh, we got some jerkbaits right here, this is a Yo Zero, I believe, uh, I'm not sure what this thing is, it's like a kind of like a prop bait but it sinks in the water column got a couple of lucky crafts right here I got like two of those really awesome jerk baits and then I got I don't know what this is this is a I don't even know what that is this is a jerk this is another jerk bait and then I got a little rapala jerk bait as well there's the, some people say it's pronounced rapala some people pronounce it rapala I don't really care got some deep diving crank baits right here got a KVD 5XD in Tennessee shad I've been fishing uh, deep water crankbaits recently and I've really enjoyed it. Hopefully I have a video of that coming out pretty soon. Got this thing right here, very, very nice. Got another 5XD here. This is just in a standard shad. And then I picked this up today. This is a really nice bait. This is an Arashi 10-foot diver. Really, really cool. The thing I like about it is it's got a really flexible lip, so when you're fishing around rocks and stuff, you're not going to break the lip on your bait. Can't wait to throw that. Those are all the deep divers. And of course, square bills, square bills, and more square bills because I love fishing square bills. This is actually not a square bill. This is an Arashi uh, uh, wake bait right here. Really cool. I love this color. It's amazing. Got that. I got a Sabeel crankbait right here. Very cool. Let me get this stop right there. Sabeel crankbait, really nice. 
Of course, I got the the 1.5, the beat up one I talked about in uh, a couple videos back. Love that thing. Got a little live target bait ball crankbait. I love throwing small crankbaits. This is a great little bait right there. Awesome. Live target uh, square bill. Love that thing. Another 1.5 and another bait ball. So that's all of my crankbaits. Now let's go to top water. Okay, so top water. Here we go. Let's take a look at what we got in here. First off, got the hollow body sunfish. Check out my review of that. I'll link it up in the corner. This bait is dynamite. Love it. Got some frogs here. I think this is a booyah pad crusher right here. Uh, Copper's live target. I don't even know what this is. I think this is a. I don't know. Someone tell me what. The, someone tell me in the comments what that is. I, I got him in the mystery tackle box. Totally forgot the name. Just black frog right there. This is a cool frog. It's from Sabeel. Right here. Nice little frog. I like the single hook design. Really awesome. The build quality feels really struck. Feels very sturdy. And I got another one of those black ones. Got a Yo Zero popper right here. Whoa. Come here. Uh, sweet bait. Haven't thrown it yet, but looking forward to throwing that. If you guys watch my Mystery Tackle Box unboxing, you know I got this thing. This is a Chug and Spook right here. Really cool. Got a couple more walking baits. I don't even know what kind of walking bait this is. It's some Japanese company. Got that in a Mystery Tackle Box as well. Awesome. Uh, Livingston Lures walking bait right here and a Storm Arashi walking bait as right there. Got a couple of random stuff here. Got a uh, jittle chicken. What are you doing? Checking out my tackle? Get away from my tackle, chicken. Beat it. No. Do not peck my tackle. Get out of here. Come on. Sorry for that interruption. We got a... Uh, uh, jitterbug right here just because these baits are awesome. I got a uh, Lucky Craft little prop bait right here. Love that thing. Of course the uh, Rebel Frog R. I bought this bait a while ago. Still have it. And I've got this buzz bait with like trailer hooks and a swim bait on it. Awesome. Alright next up we have jigs and spinner baits. I'm gonna pop this guy open here. Don't do a lot of jig fishing. The majority of what I throw are swim jigs, but I do have a couple standard jigs. Let's take a look at what we got here. First off, we got kind of a mess right here. We got uh, some of these spinners that the guy sent me out. Can't wait to use these uh, in the fall. I think this will be a really great spinner. Kind of imitates a shad. Uh, pretty nice bait. Uh, that's by, I forget the name of his lure company, but I'll leave a link to the video in the corner. Really great spinners. Check them out. I'm not sponsored by him. He just sent me them out. I got a spinner bait here. I don't even know what kind of spinner bait this is. Um, got another one of those spinners. Got this blade bait right here. My mystery tackle box, Strike King. Interesting design, right there. Got a Strike King spinner bait right here, and like a red, old Terminator spinner bait. I've had it forever. Then I don't even know what kind of spinner bait this is, but it's a spinner bait with a trailer hook. So I have those over here. Is my swim jig collection. Most of these are all-terrain skipping jigs because I love these jigs. They're so versatile. You can swim them, or you can fish them like a normal jig. They're great. Um, got one here. I don't even know what color this is. I'm just going to show you guys a couple of the colors. My camera focuses. Got one of those. Uh, of course, I got the standard uh, uh, green and, and and red flake. Love that color. I got a black and blue one here for you know dirty water situations. And I've got this color. I think this is a bluegill. I'm not totally sure. Got that one. Got a couple of the jigs in here. I don't know the names of these. I probably got most of these in mystery tackle boxes. So I'm going to forget them. But I'm just going to show you a couple of these jigs right here. So you can see these are my standard jigs that I throw. A little finesse jig, really cool. So there you go, those are the jigs. Got some other random stuff in here. Got this like gambler jig with like a blade on it. Get off there, come on. Right there, it's got a blade on it. It's kind of interesting design. Picked it up because it was different. Um, got another jig right here. And then another swim jig. So that's all the jigs. And and last but not least, we have some terminal tackle here. I'm just going to kind of go through this. I don't know all of the brands. I just got a bunch of random hooks and stuff. Um, got some laser sharp eagle claws right there. Got some of these little rig things. Cool. Got some of these. I don't even know what those are. The little swim bait hooks right there. You can see. Got some miscellaneous jig heads in here. Random stuff. I have these things, which I've become a huge fan of. These are um, VMC. Uh, they're like wobble head design, but they got a straight shank hook on them. In my opinion, the Texas rig is dead because... I use these so much more than a Texas rig. You don't have to worry about pegging your weight. Um, I just love uh, these things. They are awesome. So I got a bunch of those. I got some in black and some in green. Got the Baitmate fish stick right here. Looking forward to trying that out. Really cool. Um, a couple different kinds of weights right there. I still use lead because um, I'm a cheapskate and I 
So guys, there you go. There is my tackle. Like I said, I don't have a whole lot of it, but um, it's enough for what I do, and it catches me fish. I'm a firm believer that you don't need a ton of tackle to be a good fisherman. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.